The average Louisiana household spends 40% of its income on health care. Gray Malkins looks at lowering those costs, and that's one of the main topics of a health care town hall held this week in Baton Rouge. What do you think we, we know today that we didn't know five years ago? Health care experts from around the country are here at Pennington Biomedical Research Center to invent the future of health. The payment system is not structured that way. The conversations may not be the most riveting, but they are critically important. The Atlantic Magazine sponsored the event along with Blue Cross Blue Shield. The word of the day, data and how it can help. What we see is huge disparities in the cost of care based on the regions of the state that you live in and very generally poor quality. So we're spending a lot of money in Louisiana and some places more than others. We're really not getting the outcomes we want. One step to reduce costs is getting people the right kind of care. Oftentimes, that's not in the ER. The amount of emergency room utilization in Louisiana and the amount of that that is what we would call avoidable, meaning things that could be taken care of in a different setting, is enormous in this state. An initiative called Million Hearts hopes to prevent one million heart attacks and strokes nationwide by 2017. There are two main pathways, a series of public health interventions to improve access to smoke-free air, lower sodium intake, and eliminate trans fat from the diet. On the healthcare side, Million Hearts wants excellence in the ABCS. That's aspirin for those who need it, blood pressure control, cholesterol management, and smoking cessation. Data is essential. It actually pointed us in the right direction. We know that improving the ABCS for people and getting rid of trans fat and sodium actually will bring about at least a million fewer events every year. The event was live streamed to audiences around the state, and that same technology is used by New York company Able2 to bring social workers and behavioral coaches into the homes of rural patients. We're taking a very old-fashioned approach. We're bringing, we're bringing the help back to them at home so it's easier to actually take advantage of that help. And when it's easier, you do it, and when you do it, you feel better. Doing what they can today to lower costs and improve outcomes in the future of health. Graham Olkins, WAFB 9 Healthline.